Hi, my name is Max and this is the LaTeX Beginners course. Now we have covered a huge number of different typesetting applications in LaTeX and you should be fully able to substitute Word with LaTeX. But LaTeX also offers a variety of document classes which we haven't discussed until now. And I also want to give you a few examples how to personalize your document in LaTeX. So that's the outline for this video. Let's first hit on document classes. Well, for a normal text, there are three main types, which are article, report, and book. There are also different classes, for example, if you want to create presentation slides or if you want to write a letter, but that's a topic for a different day. For now, let's just focus on these three. Now, if you take a look here, we use the SER article class. And this is not a normal article class in LaTeX, uh, it's part of ComaScript, and ComaScript Coma introduces new classes uh, that substitute the old ones. And they are better suited for European style typography and also contain better commands, better typesetting, better styling. I don't want to get into details here, but um, they are widely used now and you should use them as well. So we're only going to talk about these comma script classes. We're pretty familiar now with the article class because we used it throughout this video course. Um, it's basically good for short documents. Now let's go to the report class. Um, the comma script here is S-C-R-R-E-P-R-T then compile and let's see and here we go now our title is on a separate page and we can also by the way design our own title page now um, but that's stuff for a separate video i think then the table of contents is again on a separate page and it also looks a bit different a bit different than before and you can see why here uh, we have a zero and uh, this zero means that now we have another element in a document structure, which is the chapter. Um, though now let's uh, let's include a chapter. I already prepared it, um, and then compile. And now we should have a chapter, uh, chapter one here. Here we go, chapter one, and it should also appear in the table of contents if we compile again. Um, here it is. Okay. So then you might wonder where our sub subsections went uh, because they don't appear in the, in the table of contents anymore, but they are still here. They are just don't appear there. So uh, that's, the, that's the report class. And now let's look at the book class. Our comma script class here is SCR book. And then the book class contains all the features of the normal report class, but it also contains some empty pages, as you can see here. And it has a two-sided layout. So you can see here on the left side and here the right side. So this is perfect for printing and binding as a book. Um, you can see it has also here headers automatically. And yeah, I think this is perfect for anything uh, that is really large like a doctoral thesis or an actual book, but in most cases we will uh, stick with report um, uh, Like in this case Because uh, in my opinion and in my experience report is the perfect uh, class for anything between 10 and 100 pages So yeah, let's stick with report here So as you could see in the book class there we had automatically created headers and here in the report class We don't have them uh, so if we want them, this is really easy. We can just include a command here, uh, page style headings, and this sets the page style obviously to headings. So now LaTeX um, creates headers, uh, headings automatically and displays them in a document. Let's see what we get here. So on the first page, there is nothing, but then on the second page, here is just the heading displaying the chapter. Now, this is really nice and cool, but I'm not satisfied with this because we have no possibility whatsoever changing this heading. And at this point, you might frequently see the package fancy HDR, but this is not compatible to comma script classes, so I'm showing you the proper, the proper package to go, which is um, SCR layer, SCR page. And this works really similar to fancy HDR, so don't worry. The page style um, here is not headings, but SCR headings. So, and now we can compile. And at first we uh, should see no change because we haven't uh, done any definition here. So yeah, first we have no headings. 
But now let's dive into our package. So we have commands here for each section of our headings. They are pretty intuitive. LO head means the left section and CO the central section and RO the right section. So let's try them out. Um, maybe on the left section, let's say the title. We want the title displayed there and uh, central section, maybe nothing. And on the right section, uh, maybe the author. So this is just an example. Uh, then compile and let's see what have we got. Yeah, now we have on the left section the title and on the right section the author. Fine. Then we might want to have a separating line between the header and normal text. Uh, and this is just an option here in the package. So the square brackets and then head sep line head sub line equals true. So now we should have a separation line between them. So let's see. And here we are. But this is not yet a progress compared to where we were before because there we had automatic running headers because um, they were displaying automatically the chapter and if the chapter changes uh, also the headers change. Um, we can have here even more. We can go um, below this and activate automark. So automark um, and then we have a pair of brackets and a pair of braces. Here we say section and here we say chapter and then we can change the left head to left mark. This is a command, command left mark. Uh, and here on the right side, right mark. Okay, so let's try this out. Okay, let's have a look. Um, now we have on the left side the basic scores and on the right side the chapter again. Um, this is not the way I want it. I wanted the on the left side the chapter, uh, left mark, and on the right side the section, right mark. Um, but um, in order to get this working, we have to include another option, which is here auto one side equals false. So include this here auto one side equals false. And then we should have it the way I want it. Um, yeah, now we have here section, uh, here the chapter, basic scores, and here the section, first document. Here it's 1.2, here it's 1.3, and so on. So these are proper running heads. Now I want to do the same thing for our footers. So at the moment we have uh, them in the center and we only have the number of the page displayed. So I want to leave it that way. I only want the number of the page in a footer, but I want it on the right side and not in the center. Um, the commands are really similar. Uh, so for the right foot, it's RO foot. And then we say page mark because this is the command for displaying the number of the page. And also we don't want the uh, uh, foot in the center appear, the number in the center. So we say CO foot is empty. Simple as that. And now we have here it's in the center, but here it's on the right. Why is that? The reason for this is that the SCR package uses a different page style for each first page of a chapter and also for the page of the table of contents. And this is also the reason why we have here no heading and we have it uh, on the first, on the, on the second page of the chapter. And this is in general a good thing because here it would look a bit awkward. But with our footers, this is a problem and we can solve this when we use an, another pair here, another pair of brackets, square brackets, because they determine what should be there in the different page style. So let's use them here uh, on, on CO foot, we say they're empty and here we say again, page mark, and then we should be fine. So let's give it a try. And now, yeah, now it's working. On table of contents, we have it on the right side, and then here we have it on the right side, but no heading here. And yeah, in the following, we are fine anyway.
So I think this is a really cool setup of headings and footings, which you can use in your documents as well. Um, if you're interested in more options you have with the package, you can of course read the full documentation of the comma script classes, we'll link it in the description below. But before we move on, I have another problem and this is concerning the page numbers. Because here uh, at the table of contents we have page number 2 and there we have page number 3 where the actual document starts, but I think at this point should be page number 1. Um, contents and the title page shouldn't be enumerated. So there's a command and we can insert it right uh, right before the chapter and the command is set counter and then two pairs of braces in the first pair page and in the second pa pair one. So this sets the page counter where the chapter starts to one. So let's try this out. And now we have here page one, page two, so this is good. But here, at the table of contents, we have page number 2. Um, and I don't want any page displayed here. We can solve this problem if we um, do another command here, right below table of contents. And this command is this page style um, is empty. So, this should finally solve it. And... Yeah, now we have neither headers nor footers in the table of contents. Okay, so this is fine. Now I want to show you some extra commands for changing the text layout. For example, let's look at the baseline stretch because here we have a baseline stretch of 1.0 and in many cases you will be required to have 1.5. Um, so this is really easy. We already know the command. We have to include it in the preamble, a renew command. And then we have to insert here um, backslash baseline stretch and then the value. So let's say 1.5. Okay, let's try this out. I had it work. And yeah, we have a baseline stretch of 1.5. You can already see it in the table of contents and of course in the actual document. Okay, cool. Now, two commands concerning the par skip and par indent. Uh, let's look at it here because right now we have no par skip and we have a bit par indent. We can change this here. Um, the commands are set length and then par, par skip, par skip, and um, and then set length and par indent. So. We can say here, maybe we want a power skip of one line, so one EM. And here we want um, no power indent, for example, so let's say zero EM. Okay, let's try this out. And yeah, now our text looks like this. Now we have no power indent, but we have a power skip. Um, you can choose uh, exactly as you like. For me, it was perfect the way it was before, so I'm just gonna comment this out here. So this will set it back to standard settings. And yeah, now we are where we were before. Okay, now let's take a look at our document. Uh, we have managed to convert it into a report and now we have automatically running footers and headers so i think this is really cool and yeah now you should be able to fully substitute word with latex this was our last video in this basics course i hope you have enjoyed it um and we plan to do more videos in the future but we'll see if you want to get the latex file we worked on throughout this video so you can click on the link below and we'll send it to you I think you can, it can really help you to comprehend these videos and you can also use it as a template for your next documents if you want to. So I hope you enjoyed these videos and I want to thank you for watching.